Good morning and welcome to a new video. Uh, today is a very important day for us. For sure, one of the most important ones. We're gonna bring our van to life today. We wait uh, months for this. Uh, yeah. We are building this now for uh, nine months. Um, so today we're gonna work mostly under the bed. Yeah, in the um, garage. So I'm very excited to uh, see everything working in a few days so it's one of the last jobs we have to do and uh, i think most one of the most yes. important ones and our big trip yeah. is coming so we have to be ready for this um we're gonna probably start with uh, our self-made uh, distribution uh, box uh, we're also going to install the charge controller for the solar panels the orion tier um, battery through battery charger, a uh, blue smart charger for your battery when you are in hookup, or your sign inverter, it's too heavy to pull, yeah, it's and our big, big 200 amp uh, lithium battery. battery. That's the, uh, the box we made for the, all our cables, the battery, um, and all the components uh, we yeah. need. You like it, you like to have it all nice and tidy, so we yeah. made especially nice and this, neat, that's yeah. uh, especially what this I like. Box. Uh, I don't want to see uh, any cables running, uh, it's like this one of course, but uh, I don't want to see all this mess uh, hanging around uh, in the garage. Uh, 
if you are putting stuff inside like our table and, and, and chairs and chairs um, I don't want to destroy one of these cables so we're gonna Certainly start Certainly for me yeah. I'm not that... Uh, I can be clumsy <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> So yeah Let's start So over here we uh, put everything in uh, uh, the fabric um, we made this connection. Uh, I used a Dremel to uh, cut off the paint or the sand of the paint uh, to make the ground connection for our uh, ground cables. Um, we're also going to install a uh, shut off switch, uh, a 230 inlet, and a 12 volt inlet. So that's me and it. And I also, I don't know if you can see it, I used a, some kind of um, brush. Yeah, it's for under the doors. Yeah, it keeps uh, keeps it nice and clean. I can run the cables through um, very easily, and it stays uh, on the yeah, clean. right spot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the first job we're gonna do today is installing the. the yeah distribution block and block box box box, the box. of course <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna install it i'm gonna try to film it but uh, it's a very tight space and i'm quite big so i'm gonna install everything and i'm gonna run you through every step i did i think that's the most easiest, easiest way. way to do we also not professional so you're gonna see a few mistakes in this video First we're gonna undo all of this. And there are a lot of wires we have. Yeah. They are here for months. <laughs> <laughs> this is for our 12 volt connections. Um, that's for the solar panels. Um, this also 12 volt is for the fridge and for the um, S-Power heat rating. So yep, I can remember. It had to be a bigger cable. Right? Yeah, this for a few uh, switches I installed. But the blue ones and the yellow are just. Okay, the blue one and the yellow one are all the 230 connections. So. And one tip label everything very well yeah otherwise yeah you have a big problem you have to search search and yeah. look what you everything can use is. wire trackers but a simple label like this makes a huge huge difference
start the terrain. Pretty good. Okay. It's raining. Okay. How long is it gonna rain? You know? Uh, For one hour. There are sh there are showers, so I don't know what it will be today. Um. Anyway. Um. We can start uh, with building our uh, control panel. In this, uh, have a new day yesterday it didn't stop raining but we finished our panel and that we will try to install today I think honey yep uh, Christoph is already working on his uh, cable spaghetti <laughs> okay so where were we uh, yesterday ah uh, you just finished the solar panels the switch yeah and this cable what makes yeah, yesterday it started to rain, so we put everything inside and focused on the panel, the control panel in the upper cabinet. So, um, what we did yesterday, okay, uh, we sort all of our cables for a 12 volt, this and this, uh, the 230 volt coming from the hookup and the 230 volt coming from our inverter. We also installed our uh, main switch that shuts down the whole system. Um, a 230 uh, socket. socket and a 12 volt socket in the back. You never know if you need it. And, and the we got uh, the place for this. It could be handy indeed. And today, where are we gonna start? We're gonna start with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> with these cables. We're gonna start with the blue cables uh, coming from the hookup. This uh, yellow cable is coming, uh, is connected to the box outside. outside. Um, that's this cable gonna feed all of this. So, that we're gonna do now. is ready. This switch is for the hookup. And now Christoph will do the switches for the inverter. I 
think it's coffee time. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's not the best spot to drink coffee. Now your coffee is ready and maybe we can explain what you already did. Yeah, so the first reel is ready. Um, the first one is a switch, it's an 80 amp uh, fuse. Uh, it's never gonna blow because we don't have so many amps coming from the solar panels. Uh, we're gonna use it just to turn it on and off if, we, if it's necessary. Um, the second reel is the one when we are on the hookup, all of these will be live. And it will feed all the sockets um, inside the living space. And on this side, we have exactly the same as this, but only uh, this will be live when the inverter is working. Inside, we're gonna install a switch that turns the inverter on, and all of this will be live then. So that's what we did. Um, we just used uh, pins that we crimped on this one. Uh, and we used uh, some heat shrink to make it a little bit easier and cleaner. Um, over here we have all our ground cables connected to one uh, rail bar. And this one should always also be connected over here. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes all the way back and comes out here. And that will be connected over here. The next job is connecting all of our 12 volt uh, connections so we're gonna use these uh, ring things i don't know the name Ooh, i don't know um, well it's easy you uh, unscrew one you put this in yeah, yeah you put this on that show it yeah you put this in put the screw back on and you're good to go so we're going to use a piece of heat shrink uh, one of these and we start with cable one and we're gonna go all the way till all of these cables are gone so, that's so I'll next see step. you in five minutes in five minutes? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, Never. just try it <laughs> so yeah that's what we're gonna do now what I also did I wrote everything down what I did um, I'm gonna label this with a, B, C, D, etc. And this is already labeled with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, we're gonna name this uh, number A. Number A. Just A and yeah. B. <laughs> and I'm gonna write one. A1 is uh, the reading light above the bed on my side. This <laughs> side. This I will put um, the links in the description from all of this uh, where I found it. Um, but it's really easy actually. You have the positive side on this this side and the negative side on that one. So your positive cable goes here and your negative goes somewhere here. Doesn't matter where you put it, but um, that's it. So I'm gonna start somewhere this is socket number 12 because this is the shortest cable I have um. You can also use one of these. You, you don't have to unscrew them all the way, but uh, just a bit. Put it in, screw it on, and done. But we are in a moving vehicle, so 
that's the reason why I use this one. Ring. They don't uh, fall off. So that's it. Just go for safety. Yeah. I'm right handed, so why I try it with my left hand? We are an hour later, so I'm a little bit curious if the 12 volt connections are already finished. So, hey, let's have a look! And I'm the only one who found this uh, satisfying, this uh, heat shrink. Let me know in the comments. Was the last cable? We... No. No? No, not the We only need to uh, connect uh, the battery charger. To but that. that's for later. But now we're gonna cover it up and then we can focus on uh, the rest of the things. <laughs> The electricity is finished. Yeah. Good. We start with the biggest the, one or the, the biggest one? one because we have a, a stud over here that we're gonna use for the the mounting plate of the inverter. Does he fit? <laughs> I hope so. Oh. This is oh yeah, just so heavy. Yeah, it's a perfect place for the uh, inverter. <laughs> and the ga cables will. Oh my god! Coming from here and go directly into this uh, part. So. Okay, let's do that. And that all with one hand. Yeah. It will fit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's good. We put these two here and... The other one. Over there. Oh. oh! Okay, for this thing, that's a battery charger. You normally plug that in and this goes to your battery. Uh, I sent an email to uh, Victron in the Netherlands and I asked him if I do this will I lose my warranty and he said no. So 
they are cool <laughs> because we are gonna put this cable over here and this cable goes, right goes in the inside and will be uh, installed That's in this uh, the last no, switch. that's not the switch, it's a uh, fuse. Fuse, I'm sorry. So, now we can install that somewhere over here. <laughs> and all the cables are invisible. Not invisible, but... You're happy, it's all tight. Yeah, I like it clean. solid connection. Okay, that's in. Now I wanna secure this. Wait. Okay, maybe I'll show you what I did. I made this uh, weird shape. I used some of these uh, things where you can screw this thing in. <laughs> See. Into that washer, washer, and a nylon nut on top. Thank you. 
And that's our ground connection. Nice and secure to the bottom of the van. It doesn't touch any of the fabric, so... Uh, you see? It's really a nice solid connection. And nice and clean. Isabel is now back to work and it's also started to rain again so um, I'm gonna focus on things I can do by myself So and it's making our uh, connections inside the van um, I'm gonna install probably uh, the control panel also today uh, but I'm gonna start with this so what I'm gonna do now is these are our 230 volt sockets um, one is for the inverter, one is when we are on hookup um, and this will get a cover like this Okay, you get the idea. Um, but we also want to install our uh, 12 volt socket in the middle of it. So I bought one of these. One of these. That should be something like this. And that's how it looks. So I'm gonna drill a hole big enough to get this one in, and then it will be little bit similar and a little bit more nicer inside the van so that's what I'm gonna do now That's it, uh, looking good for me, so now we go back to the van and uh, get this thing installed. That's nice, mm, really clean. Hey, great job you did with the control panel. I like oh, it. Thanks. It was a pain in the ass. Today, we're gonna focus on this part. That's for our all our positive cables, and we install a fuse between this and your positive cable coming from the battery that goes to this uh, fuse block that goes to the switch and from the switch it goes to one side uh, of this bus bar
this should be the first ground connection. There you have to drill another hole. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So for our positive wire as coming from the battery, uh, we installed a uh, 250 amp uh, fuse. Uh, this has to be as close as you can get to, to your battery. So our battery is here, so it's not that long. So.
So yesterday evening I installed all the male connectors on our LED lights uh, which we're gonna install today in the van. Uh, in the van itself we're gonna install these uh, female connectors and they connect easily together and that's how we're gonna make the connection. To turn the lights on we bought uh, this LED controller, it's a dimmable switch which is quite big but um, okay that's what we're gonna install today so we have a lot of work I really want to test this before you go to work. Oh, I want to see it. Oh, that's looking good. Me also. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. Yeah, we ordered those like six months ago. At least. We will make a cover inside this cover to protect the wires, but for now they are in. Alright, the wiring is finally done. We have our positive and our negative bus bar. For the positive one, we have a cable coming from the battery. It goes to this fuse, goes to the switch on the outside, and then it powers this bus bar. We have all the fuse inside that goes to our appliances. For the negative one, we made it ourselves. We just uh, bought a copper bar, drilled some holes. We connect it directly to the shunt, and from the shunt we go to the negative, uh, negative side of the battery. So on the right side, next to our fuse box, we have our 2000 watt inverter or Orion DC to DC charger, the blue smart charger and the MPPT charge controller for the solar panels. All these cables are going inside over here next to the battery and then it goes to this uh, positive bus bar. So for all our 12 volt connections, we have these two blade fuse holders. Um, this works very easy. So we modified it, so it fits in this fuse box. So inside the van we have double sockets. Uh, the one above is for when we are on hookup. And the one below is for when we are working with the inverter. So when the, inver when the inverter goes on, all of this goes live. And when we are in hookup, all of this goes live. So that's basically it. So now we're going to test the system. Um, we just uh, connected the solar panels on the roof um, with the charge controller and with this switch we uh, put it on and it looks like it's working. Um, so now we're gonna test everything. everything. Ooh, I hope to work. <laughs> fireworks so far. Just push on the max fan. Ready? Light. Oh yeah. That thing is working. More light! Really oh, wait, cool. wait, 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 wait! I want to test this. Oh yeah! Really cool seeing this working after so many months. Yeah, after all that work. We got the light over here, so. Yeah! Working as well. Also important. Do we have light? Yeah, we have light! Do you have a 
Yeah! That's working as well. And the victor run. Up. Let's say. Nothing. We have got a full battery. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's working. Yeah, it's finally. Not a problem. Not a problem so far. That's yeah, really good. <laughs> really good. So we we'll go back to the garage. garage. First of all, we made just a few magnets, nice and clean. So as you can see, everything is nice and clean, uh, no visible cables, so really clean install. So now we can put our camera back inside and we don't not gonna damage anything of the electrical system, so the only wire that running here is this from the MPPT, but all the rest are hidden inside this box.